As Hurricane Melissa's outer bands lash the island, Jamaicans are facing an agonising decision. Leave everything behind or risk their lives to protect what little they have for fear that their possessions might get stolen. Melissa, now a Category 5 hurricane with sustained winds topping 175 miles an hour, is expected to make landfall tomorrow, Tuesday, potentially becoming the strongest storm to ever hit Jamaica since records began in 1851, with the potential to wipe it out completely. Authorities warn of catastrophic flooding, landslides and a storm surge of up to 13 feet, yet thousands of people are still refusing to evacuate. Melissa is now regarded as the strongest hurricane ever recorded to threaten the island directly since systematic record-keeping began in 1851. The storm's unusual behaviour, slow-moving yet explosively powerful, has prompted scientists and government officials to link it to the effects of global warming on the Atlantic Ocean. The Jamaican government has issued mandatory evacuation orders for flood-prone communities and coastal towns and has opened more than 880 emergency shelters across the island. Despite this, official reports indicate that shelter occupancy remains low, raising concerns that many residents are choosing to remain in their homes. Authorities warn that this reluctance could prove fatal. Jamaica's Office of Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management has described the situation as extremely dangerous, noting that residents who fail to evacuate before landfall may be trapped for days due to blocked roads and fallen power lines. As of tonight, more than 50,000 households were already without electricity, with significant outages reported in the parishes of St Elizabeth, Manchester and Clarendon. The Jamaican Meteorological Service expects the full force of hurricane-strength winds to reach southern parishes first before spreading inland and northward. Rainfall totals of up to 30 inches are forecast in some regions, heightening the risk of flash flooding and mudslides. In the capital, Kingston, critical infrastructure such as Norman Manley International Airport and several power plants are located in low-lying coastal zones vulnerable to storm surges. The government has activated emergency response teams and coordinated with international partners in anticipation of large-scale recovery efforts. No hurricane of Category 4 or higher has made direct landfall in Jamaica in 174 years. The last major storm to strike the island head-on was Hurricane Gilbert in 1988, a Category 3 event that caused widespread destruction. Hurricanes Ivan and Beryl both passed nearby in 2004 and 2024 as Category 4 systems, but did not strike the island directly. Melissa's approach follows a series of destructive storms across the Caribbean in recent years. It's already been blamed for six fatalities elsewhere in the region, three in Haiti, two in Jamaica and one in the Dominican Republic, as well as widespread flooding and crop damage. In neighbouring Haiti and the Dominican Republic, torrential rainfall from the outer bands of Melissa has displaced thousands and destroyed hundreds of homes. In Haiti, agricultural losses include more than 37 acres of maize, worsening a food crisis that has left more than 5 million people facing severe hunger. Meteorologists and climate scientists attribute Melissa's unprecedented power and rapid intensification to unusually warm sea surface temperatures in the Caribbean and Western Atlantic. The waters south of Jamaica are currently averaging 30 degrees centigrade, 86 Fahrenheit, about 2 to 3 degrees centigrade above historical norms. According to researchers at the University of Reading, such warmth is not limited to the surface. Deeper layers of the ocean are also abnormally hot, creating a vast and persistent energy source that fuels hurricanes. This deep water heating prevents storms from weakening as they churn the ocean, allowing them to intensify more rapidly and sustain higher wind speeds. Scientists have identified rapid intensification, a process in which wind speeds increase by more than 35 miles per hour within 24 hours as a growing phenomenon in the Atlantic. Hurricane Melissa is the fourth storm in the 2025 Atlantic season to undergo this kind of explosive strengthening, underscoring a troubling pattern linked to global warming. Atlantic hurricanes are now more than twice as likely to intensify rapidly compared to several decades ago. The US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has described the link between higher ocean temperatures and stronger hurricanes as one of the most direct consequences of the climate crisis. 
Climate Central, a research organisation, reported that the extreme warmth in the tropical Atlantic has been made about 700 times more likely due to human-driven greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation and other activities. This persistent ocean heating also extends hurricane seasons, enabling stronger storms to form earlier and later in the year. One of Melissa's most dangerous characteristics is its slow forward motion, currently estimated at just three miles an hour. Slow-moving systems tend to linger over affected regions, dumping enormous amounts of rain and exacerbating flood risks. The potential damage from Melissa is expected to be severe. Key crops such as bananas, sugarcane and coffee are at risk, along with fisheries and coastal tourism infrastructure. Early estimates suggest billions of dollars in potential economic losses if the storm maintains its strength through landfall. Environmental experts warn that repeated major hurricanes could have long-term effects on Jamaica's coastal ecosystems, particularly mangroves and coral reefs that act as natural storm barriers. The destruction of these ecosystems can leave coastal areas even more vulnerable to future storms, creating a cycle of damage and recovery that grows more costly each year. As the hurricane season grows longer and storms grow stronger, Caribbean nations are confronting what many scientists call the new reality of the climate emergency. Warmer oceans are producing more frequent and more destructive storms, while slower storm motion increases the likelihood of inland flooding and infrastructure collapse. Jamaica's leaders have emphasised the need for international cooperation and climate financing to strengthen resilience against extreme weather. The government has called on wealthier nations to fulfil their commitments under global climate agreements, citing the disproportionate burden that small island states bear in a crisis they did little to create. Donald Trump has intentionally gutted the US climate change strategy by dismantling key regulations and withdrawing from international agreements. Domestically, his regime targeted the Clean Power Act, the flagship policy for reducing greenhouse gas emissions from power plants, initiating its replacement with far weaker rules. In addition, the Environmental Protection Agency proposed rescinding the endangerment finding that underpins federal regulation of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas under the Clean Air Act. On the international front, the US withdrew from the Paris Agreement on Climate Change under Trump, reversing its prior commitments to help limit global warming and thereby weakening global mitigation efforts. Together, these actions have set back US emission reduction prospects, slowed the transition to renewable energy and reduced climate finance support to vulnerable countries like Jamaica. As scientists continue to trace Melissa's power to warming seas, the storm stands as both a humanitarian emergency and a stark reminder that the climate crisis is no longer a distant threat. It is a present and escalating reality for the Caribbean and beyond. I'm Anthony Davis. You can find me on the 5 Minute News YouTube channel and podcast on Wednesday co-hosting Uncovered and on Sunday on the weekend show with Midas Touch.